trying to figure out how to get this setup situation a little bit better. I'm used to having two, multiple screens. I'm used to having three uh, three monitors for, for doing a lot of my videos, primarily because I used to do a little bit of streaming and gaming videos, etc. So I had three monitors. Now I just have the one. I'm still trying to figure out how to get this done. But I, one, one thing that I did want to talk about was... I know a lot of people probably are worried because you know they're going to lose they're going to lose their job. They know the narrative and they know that they don't want to be part of the narrative. And that was one of the things that I learned during 2020 was that I didn't have enough money to, I didn't have enough money saved. And I had left a position where I was doing very well. I was making, you know, over 150,000 from last year, I think I did like, or the week before, I did like one, 170. But I knew that in the end, one, I was getting taxed out the wazoo. But two, I knew that the hospital was going to mandate it. And so I actually decided to go off and do contract nursing, which is, of course, you have to take responsibility for your health care. You've got to take responsibility uh, for investing, you've got to put money aside, even though you do get a much higher allotment from getting paid because you're willing to travel, right? So you lose a lot of the comforts, no sick days, etc. And I was typically, I'm used to working five, six days a week, putting in, you know, 70, 80, maybe even 100 hours a week <clears throat> is not something that is new to my life. I've always been a hard worker. And I always thought at some point, I might have to take it. I don't want to. I don't think it'll be beneficial to me. But at the end of the day, I thought, you know, perhaps if I needed to get out of the country, that's my, that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal was to be able to live peacefully away from everything that's going on. Now, some people might choose to live out in the country and you'd have to find a way to support yourself to be you know, removed from the system of things. I always remember, remember the scripture in the book of Revelation, you know, where where the angel said, you know, come out of her, get out of her, my people. So you do not share, you don't have a share in the judgment. And that might be for many individuals, you know, the, the comfortable life that you've been used to living in this system of things, you may have to give up. You know, when you look at Moses, the Bible says that Moses and, you know, he ended up going off into the into the desert, you know, get, living, you know, leaving the life behind as, uh, you know, living with the, as a prince in Egypt, you know, being raised by the daughter of Pharaoh came with advantages that many, especially in his you know, being a, being an Israelite did not have. And the Bible says that he went off and, you know, ended up living in the desert and then, you know, going into the wilderness and becoming a, a herder of sheep for quite some time. And he says that he, he gave up all of those things because he didn't want the temporary enjoyment of sin. And so he went off and he lived a completely different lifestyle. And of course, as a result, God blessed him. Many people might not have that kind of faith to make the hard decision to leave behind the temporary enjoyment of what this system has to offer. But realistically speaking, the only thing that it has to offer for most people who are stuck in the system and realize it is slavery. It's a form of slavery. It's not the physical slavery where you're bound. Uh, it's, it's, you're, you're in debt servitude. You're, you're a slave to the system of things. You know, this was an old article from 1854 where it was a time period where people were being racist against the Irish. And there's been different groups throughout history, whether it's the Jews or blacks, etc. And you can see this is girl wanted in a small private home, a young girl, 14 or 15, uh, either American or German, to take care of young child. <clears throat> she must have good references, wages, $3 a month. It says, no Irish need apply. Right? Call at uh, 89 McDougal Street. And this is very much uh, how many people might feel. They might feel qualified for a job. There's plenty of times where I get called 
and I get messages constantly, emails constantly. And the, the moment I tell them I don't, I'm not vaccinated, well, they say the same thing. You need not apply. We're not looking for unvaccinated, only, only the vaccinated. And this is the route that America is choosing to go. You can choose to go down that route. And I think for many people who do go down that route, you will at some point have a crisis of conscience, knowing that you have given up yourself. It's hard. I mean, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. And, you know, when you leave a, when you leave an, organ, an organization like that, that is very cult-like, you can never go back. Your eyes are open. And to go back would be to betray everything that you know, which is why I never went back. One of the reasons why I never won, went back and never could go back is because my eyes were so open that there was no way for me to be able to shut my eyes and pretend like I never saw what I saw. And many you of you might have that same sort of uh, naggingness in your heart if you do choose to go that direction I understand people got bills they got family you know they're too tied to the system it's easier for a person like me who is single I saw the writing on the wall as they say I saved up some money but you know you know you, ne you never have an idea of what governments and authorities might choose to do they might come up with some sort of idea where you need to put your vaccination number in to use a bank account. There's some places that have kind of gone that sort of route or if they go the route of the digital digital currency. Right. So, you, you know, you never know what the future will hold in terms of the system of things. But one thing that I have always kept in mind is I know God will always provide regardless. It was literally like when I was talking to my friend about literally the day that he took the vaccine the, the 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 federal judge in new york which is where he lives came out and said you can't force people to take it you have to have some sort of an exemption and uh and he the, literally the same morning he took it and then by the afternoon <clears throat> he decided to he, decided, he had already taken it so he couldn't take advantage of the mandate and the problem is is that when you when you fall you know when when the knees when the knees start to buckle right when the trembling at men becomes more than you can bear the bible acknowledges is that there is a snare that is waiting for you and so i, I always remember that scripture trembling at men is what lays a snare it's in the book of proverbs and it, it, many of these wise sayings which is what proverbs is uh very much you know like some of the wise sayings that we have today uh, there's many of them that kind of their principles that are meant to guide you. And so while this might be the narrative of today, right? No, no unvaccinated need apply. You might be qualified, but you're on unva you're unvaccinated. So people will turn you away. Eventually, I have no doubt if society continues to go this route, that there will be more prejudicial acts against those who opt not to take it. And of course, the vice of the state will squeeze even stronger because like i said in my last video the idea of the exemption there the exemption is there is it's there in name only it's only it's only there in name only you really have to have some sort of a history there they're very stringent with it and so people might think oh this is you know a win for us it's just for show it's just there for show and I would say, take heart. No matter, I mean, no matter what my goal is, my goal I know is to leave. My goal is to leave the country. This is uh, the the America that people think exists, doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for quite some time. And so, what what I choose to do is to take the concept of America with me, no matter where I go. That I will do my best to always to seek freedom. And it's very much like the Bible says, it's where the spirit of the Lord, the, where the spirit of the Lord is, there exists freedom. And so when people choose to give up their freedom for supposed safety, like many of these individuals are, they're all lining up, rolling up their sleeve, thinking that they're going to be protected. 
one of the things I do think about, especially if you're a, a religious individual, you believe that there is a creator and that that creator has set you free. If you choose to give up that freedom, you also choose to give up the spirit, that which comes from the creator. And that's something that I, I find to be much more worth than whatever this system of things has to offer. And so, like many of the individuals in biblical times, you may be forced to walk the earth from place to place, city to city. Uh, but I have no doubt, regardless of what the system of things has to throw at you, that the Creator will be there every step of the way to bless you and <clears throat> to bless you and to watch over you. All I can say is that I know for many people who are out there who are struggling of the of what decision to make, that there are others who are equally making that exact same decision. I mean, <clears throat> shoot, I, I said the same thing here at this job, but it pays, you know, it pays very well. But when push comes to shove, I, w I will not give up my freedom. It's the most important thing that you have as an American, and more importantly, is what you have as a being created in the image of God. You have been given freedom. And I always remember the story of Esau and Jacob, right, where Esau gave up his birthright. And then years later, when, uh, uh, when Jacob was going to receive the blessing, Esau ran to his brother and begged him back for the birthright. But the scripture says that there was no reward there for him. And that will be for many people moving forward. A lot of people are quickly giving up their freedom thinking that there's going to be a reward waiting for them for the choice that they've made and the reality is many will find that what th what they're going to receive is not freedom but the yoke of slavery anyway thank you for watching and i'll check you out next time